Today we're going to try to install the Ichin DTX03, which is a FPV transmitter system. The difference between the normal ones is that this one has an SD card um, slot on the side over here. You can see. That means whatever you transmit over the antenna, it can be kind of like this. Uh, with lines, with noise, but actually you can record with the SD card like full quality of the camera. Um, it's not going to be full HD, but it's actually going to be the maximal resolution that the camera can output. So the box comes with this device, which is the transmitter. Um, it has a microphone as well included some buttons where you can change the different functionality an LED uh, digital uh, display which is tells you which frequency channels and amount of milliwatts that is at the moment set which you can change by three different settings which are 25, 50 and 200 milliwatts you can also set zero if you're not using it. You also, it comes also with a little lead if you want to connect it with a 1S battery, but we're going to solder it on my drone, so I don't need it. And the instruction manual, which it tells you what everything is there. It will tell you video output, ground, video in, one thing that I forgot to say is that I'm going to use a dipole antenna instead of, instead of the leaf antenna, if you don't want to call it like this. So I'm going to strip off this cable and then solder it like this. So I can basically crush this VTX and hopefully it will not damage that much. I had experience with this one which as soon as it crash, you bounce a bit and a bit and a bit and after eventually it will just break off and just a pain to, to change it. So it's better to have like a, something more flexible like this one, uh, which are the, but yeah, so you can see it's much more flexible in, ca in case of a crash, it just, you know, comes back. So this is my drone, which has the Ichin TX03. Um, I'm going to take it apart quickly. Okay, remove the props. Um, I'm going to remove the top plate. So now here we have the VTX over here, my old one, which is a TX03. Just have a double side tape to hold it in place. Um, so you can see that some cables are going to the camera and some are going to the power. So here, so basically my flight controller has five volt output. So I use that one to output the, the, the power. And it also has an OSD, so I just connected the, there we go. So now we have ground, video out, and power. So the old VTX had power coming in as the old one, power out, ground, and video, and audio. So this one should be the same in theory. Let's try to go ahead, try to, try to use the same length of cable we are going to solder on the FC so the FC has a very small pads so let's go ahead and tint the cables and now let's quickly go and solder this these cables on the firefly controller and now we're going to turn it on just to make, double check that everything is is correct that my my wiring is still right Okay, I got here the battery, 
Let's try to plug it in and see if actually the VTX turns on. Okay, I can see a light over here. So now zero means the VTX is not actually output, not actually working. So now to change the voltage, you got a button over here on top. So you got one button over here and three buttons on the side. So this three button on the side is mostly for the DVR. So you don't care for now. So and then now I have one. It means like 20 milliwatts. So I can actually see that is transmitting, but because I didn't solder the cable. Alright. So now if you plug it in again, we should potentially see the OSD from Bit of light, which is correct, so I can see the bit of light. Okay, to set up the DVR is a bit tricky. Um, you potentially do it like in the right way, connect the red cable to like an external screen, but you can potentially just short the yellow and the red cable together. So, in theory, that will send the DVR overlay to the um, actually outputs of the VTX. And I just powered up, and from your goggles, you should see the DVR. Don't know if you see anything there. So, wait, let, so to enable the DVR, you just hold down the button, the C2, the middle one. And now you can see a menu inside. Oh, it's very hard for you. Anyway, you can see a menu inside and what you have to do is to change um, some informations like size, you should do it HD and what else, menu English with that NTS. So the output is actually NTSC by default. So that's what you want to change before you actually plug it in everything as you want it. So now just unplug the battery and just desolder the cable, solder the cable, the yellow ones back on the OSD and then connect everything back. So let's do it. So now we close everything. I need to replace my buzzer. And I'm gonna, just going to leave, probably going to change the double side tape. But before doing that, I will just quickly desolder the dipole um, antenna and then solder this one there. So let's just cut this one off. Okay, I strip the cable and it's not that easy, what it sounds like, but there is a little core in plastic in the middle and then after you have to kind of make these two kind of wings on the shield. So now let's remove the antenna over here. It's not going to be very easy. And let's take the VTX down. Put a bit of pressure, but not too much because it might break. And that's it. Potentially, maybe a cable ties around it or something, but um, it's up to you. Um, so if we give a quick test again, plug it in, it's there, check on my goggles, yes there, and then if I press record, it should flash, which is good. So you can see the red lights here blinking, which is when it's recording, press again to stop it turns off 
and then the C card should have the recording that we just did with the sound. It's good. So you can see the red light here blinking, which is in its 